Hi everyone, it's me, Aquastar. I am back again with a quick little video, hopefully a quick little video, um, about the LED bubble walls um, that go into the into the tank. Um, I've been getting questions often in some of the groups and on my YouTube channel about like how do you like people buying it and saying exactly exactly how does it work? How do you hook it up? I'll just show you. It's it's pretty basic. Um, when you get it out of the package, from what I remember, you pull out like a few different parts. Most of it's wire. You got the actual LED and bubble strip that are already connected. Um, the smaller the LED light is, you'll either have, like, okay, yeah, like the smaller that the LED light is, you'll only have one air inlet, one air connector, like place to connect the air tube. If it's longer, like this is the 20 inch, even though it's like 18 or something like that, it ain't exactly 20, but it was called the 20 inch. It has two airline connectors, as you can see. And you want to hook both of those up to get like optimal performance from it. But if it's like, I don't know, 18, 16 inches or smaller, you're only going to have one, one side that allows you to hook up an airline, which is fine. Um, but yeah, right there's the little air connectors back there, little piece of black plastic that kind of pokes out. Just hook your airline to it. The light will come with uh, little suction cups. Ooh, they got some poop down there. I'll we'll have to clean that up. Um, little suction cups that come with it. Um, and then you've got this little skinny black cord. That can, um, and it comes with a little suction cup too, but it always falls off on mine. Comes right on up and out, right out there. And it, you can see it. Connects right there. You're gonna to have to put together these. Uh, had to connect these two things right here. These were separate, coming out of the box. Just screw these in together. So you got this side that leads down to the actual LED light down in the tank. This this end. I'm trying to be able to see this end comes down to the adapter or um, the sensor. Here's the sensor. You want to either sit it up on something where you can your remote control for it can easily access it or tape it to the side of your tank like I did. This black electri electrical tape actually works really well. It rarely ever gives in and falls down. And then it comes down and just plugs in wherever you want it to. Yeah, that's it's pretty simple. Uh, trying to think of the other questions you guys had asked me about it. It um, the only thing I will say about these LED lights, uh, the bubble walls. Um, the biggest problem I have with them, and I think it has to do with my water quality, is um, it gets stopped up. Like it quit producing bubbles or as many bubbles, and I think it's really just the lime and the calcium in our well water. Our well water is very hard. Um, like like my pH is like 8.1, 8.2. So, it's got a lot of minerals and calcium and lime in it, which is a good thing, I think, in a way. And I actually think goldfish kind of like that. Um, but as far as the, the bubble walls and stuff and bubble wands and the LED bubble walls that use the bubble wands inside, um, right next to the LED strip inside that little bar is a bubble wand strip. strip. And it kind of gets clogged up sometimes with calcium and lime. And I just unplug it. Obviously I unplug it so I won't get electrocuted. I unplug it and I take my hand down in there and sometimes I'll just run, like scrape my fingernail across like the whole length of it once or twice and that really opens it up. Really opens it up. Or I'll take a needle or a toothpick and just start punching new holes. This seems to help but from my experience, it seems like it really helps when you take your fingernail and really scrape down. Um, I know it sounds nasty. You just have to go wash your hands really good and clean out your fingernail. But yeah, that opens it right back up and it starts pushing out its normal amount of bubbles. So that's really the only problem I've ever had with it. Uh, the only other thing I will say is the <laughs> these, um, and this goes for my new LED bar on top of the 75 and for this little LED bubble wall these sensors right there 
and it's a little one. These guys pick up on the controls for my remote control for my TV. <laughs> so like when I, <laughs> when I'm like turning off my TV or turning on my TV, you know, this would change colors. This is changing colors. Like if I, if I'm, or I'm trying to turn up my volume, let's say a show comes on, I'm like, oh yeah, so I'm like going to turn it up. it will go from like blue to pink to red or something as I'm turning it up. Um, so these, these sensors are sensitive to other equipment in the room that also take remote controls. So, but I don't really see that as a bad thing, but it's a, it's something that, you know, you should know. <laughs> so, but this is the little remote that came with, uh, my LED bubble wall. You cannot see it for nothing, man. What the hell? I need to get me a tripod so I can do these videos better for you guys. But yeah, this is the little remote control that came with this LED bubble wall. Um, yeah, that's that's really all I know to tell you guys about it, how you hook it up. You can get a good look how um, I placed mine in there. Mine is uh, flat down. You don't want to put them on like the wall of your aquarium because then the lights are going to be like shining right at you and like hurting your eyes. You want it on the bottom like suction cupped to the bottom and facing up. So that's the way I did it. Somebody asked me about that. So yeah, and there's where you hook your airlines, depending on the size of LED bubble wall that you got. If it's smaller, it's only gonna take one airline. If it's larger, it's gonna take two, like mine does. So it's a pretty uh, straightforward, simple setup. And I like it. They last a long time. Just uh, once every week or two, I have to take my fingernail and scratch it along that bubble, like bubble generator in there and unclog it. And then it gets back to what it's supposed to be doing. So, yeah. All right. I'll try to do a um, review on the Aqua Neat LED setup for the 75. I'm going to kind of get to know with it. Uh, get to know it a little bit better, play with it some, and then I'll let you guys know what I think about it. But there's the uh, just some helpful uh, tips about the LED bubble walls. So I hope that helped you. I hope you have a good day. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer you. Bye.